Musil offers the solution to a series of problems that are inherent in online news. The problem with online news is that a lot of people are using news aggregators so that they get a lot of different sources, right? So, but the problem is, is that news aggregators show you all of the sources and all of the news. Um, currently, users don't have an ability to filter the, use, the news sources that they want to have. Another problem is that news aggregators order the news by what's most recent as opposed to what's most valuable or what's most important. Another problem is that reading a news story um, that comes from an aggregator almost always takes you to another site. So you get to wait for multiple pages to load every time you want to read an article. And God forbid if that external site has one of those annoying 30 second animated advertisements. Another problem is that a user doesn't necessarily care what the what the rest of the world is actually caring about. Um, if it doesn't affect you personally, or if it's about a topic that you're just not interested in, um, you don't really currently have the ability to to change what it is that you're seeing. Now with Google News, you can you can sort of personalize, but really you just personalize the trends, and that's in my opinion not a, not enough. It's also really hard to find news that's relevant. Related stories aren't always related, and those that are related don't necessarily show up. So we as uh, consumers, we actually miss things. Yeah, so another problem is, you, you know how last night you were at a pub and you were having a beer with a couple of your friends and somebody told you about this really crazy, interesting thing that they read and they told you all about it, but, you know, they missed the point, really. Um, they, didn't, they didn't go into enough detail because they couldn't actually remember exactly what it was that they had read. And they say something like, oh, well, you know what, I'll just send you the link. But they didn't send you the link. I can't remember that story you were talking about last night and you didn't email it to me. So... What what was that? What was that about? Um, and you know, and one more problem that Newsle addresses is that we don't have a way to collectively store so stories and trends and data and associations between those different things. So Newsle really addresses a wide variety of problems. And what I want to do now is I want to walk you through uh, an example interface that I've been working on for the past couple of days. I get that there's like a lot of inherent problems in the in the solution. Um, but the fact is, is that it's kind of a complicated idea and it's uh, really big. So I'm going to walk you through it and then you guys are going to tell me what's wrong with it. And hopefully I'll be able to solve those problems before Friday. So Newsle really seeks to address a lot of these problems, but I think that what Newsle is really focusing on addressing is allowing people to see what people they care about actually care about. So welcome to Newsle. The first thing that you'll see on Newsle is a global view for just the regular user, no account, no nothing. It's a news aggregator. Um, you, the difference between Newsle and like Google News is that you can vote trends up or down based on what you think is important and that data is then taken from the community at large. So you see what everybody thinks is, is important as opposed to what all of the news organizations are reporting about. You also have the ability to filter your source um, and you can vote individual stories up or down. When you click on a trend, you get a list of those stories. You'll also see the tags and um, the story ties, so stories that have been tied together, um, tags that relate to this specific trend. You'll also see data that's been connected to this trend. And again, you will have the ability to vote the trend up or down. It's really just um, a way to filter only stories in that one trend, as opposed to um, th this other view being 
everything all at once. So you can filter your stories. You can say whether or not you think something is important. Uh, you can click on a story and read it without being taken to another page. Everything is preloaded based on um, what, what is currently on the page. And you can vote that story up or down as well. Now, this plus button here will allow you to add that particular story to one of your personal uh, feeds. So if I, were, if I were to actually do that, I would be taken and I am now in my personal dashboard. So I'm in my top news. Um, these tabs up here are my different RSS feeds and I can put anything I want and I can group any sources within them. So on, this per, on my top news, I have every source. Um, but I could also just as easily make one that's only, you know, BBC News and that's all I want to have. Although it's not really necessary because I could just filter. Um, so this is my personal workspace. This is where I save stories. Um, the minus button is now there so I can delete stories. I have my friends and followers um, over here. I have a state which is always related to what it is that I'm doing in the interface. I've got saved data and I can also put some bins together so that I can work with other people to organize my news. And if you look at this little plus button down here, I can add any source that I want to. Uh, I also have tags that I've uh, used in the past and little word cloud so that you can see what I've used the most. And then I have my geotagged stories. So to go through the interface, I can just roll over and you know, I can look at Amy dying if that's what I'm interested in the moment. Um, but actually what I'm most interested in right now is Norway. So if I want to see a Norway story, uh, I can just roll over it, click on it, and it comes up. I can open this little panel and I see the tags and ties that are associated with this particular story. And again, I can vote up or down. Now, you don't see the plus button anymore because I've already added this story to my dashboard. If I do decide to vote it up, the story will move up in my list. So I, I think this story is more important than the ones underneath it, and so do a lot of other people. Um, if I go to my friend view, if I click see all, I can see all of my friends that are imported from other social networking sites. And if I decide to roll over a particular friend, I can see what he's reading overlaid on top of what I'm reading. So um, Philip is also interested in what's going on in Norway, um, but he's interested in a, a different side of it, it seems. He's, he's got this, this psychology thing, and then he's got psychology over here too. So automatically, just by looking at what he's looking at, I know that he's into tech stuff, um, he is concerned uh, with the Norway stuff, but he's he's got this psychology tag going on. So he's interested in um, in research and how the brain works and uh, psychological melee, I guess. Uh, if I click on him, I can see his dashboard. So this is his dashboard. I can't actually change anything on his dashboard, but if I don't have a story that he has, I could add it to my dashboard. But I can see what he's doing in the interface. So I can see how he's organized his tabs, who he's filtering through, what his uh, favorite tags are, who his friends are, and you know his history of what it is that he's doing in the interface. I can also see that he's uh, in the newsroom bin, which I'm in too. This is the shared bin view. So the cool thing about this view is that you can invite multiple people to share a bin with you. And when you do that, you can organize stories just for that group of people. So in this view, um, if I vote something up or down, it's only recorded in my shared bin. Whereas with the other views, like the, the global view or my personal view, if I vote something up or down and I'm in the global view, it's voted up or down globally. But in the shared bin, it's voted up or down only within that bin. So you can see exactly what other people in in the bin think is important and of course it will it will record who voted what up or who voted what down whether or not somebody put a tag on one of these things um, and you can collaboratively create a dashboard of news just for you or your organization